up, my fellow Fantastic Boomers? Boomtastic Gamer 2 back with you today with another, uh, well, actually, nonetheless, more of a tutorial for you guys. And this is going to be a three part series. And I'm going to tell you guys uh, how to start your own YouTube channel and how to, like, progress. So, I have websites here for you guys. Those will all be down in the description below. But. Well, um, I have some stuff here on the desktop that you that you might want to invest in. So, like, for example, game capture cards, like these game captures. This uh, this is the Elgato game capture for your Xbox, and these are for your PC. Uh, then you might want to invest in a webcam. Uh, I recommend a Logitech, actually. Uh, then you want a powerful editing software, and then you want Photoshop as well. Uh, and then obviously you're gonna need a game. And if you have a slow computer. Get Razer Cortex, and that will boost your game. And then Steam will help. But anyway, so with all this being said, so the mic that I use is a Blue Snowball. And this is a desktop mic. It's really powerful, really good. I actually just got it. Um, I, I have it shock mounted. That's, um, that's one thing I recommend you do with desktop mics is shock mount them to, to like, stuff like that. But... Uh, this mic is really powerful. Uh, I really do recommend it. It looks like this. Uh, at the most, if you look it up on Amazon, you at the most you'll get it for seventy bucks. At the most, I got it mine for like fifty, sixty bucks on Amazon. So it's a really good deal. Uh, now, if you want to, if you want a better mic than the Snowball, I would go with the Yeti. Uh, and, the, and the reason why I say the Yeti is because the Yeti is is a lot more sturdy and a lot, and sounds a little bit better. But, like, it also costs a lot more, but so I just go with the Snowball, but unless you're, like, one of those people that likes to go the extra mile. Uh, for the Vegas Pro, for your editing, I do recommend either Vegas Pro, and you will have to, um, you will have to pay the money for this if you want a good editing software. It's either that one or Adobe After Effects, and those two, these two are very expensive, but they're really high quality, they're very good for editing, and... They're pretty powerful on like, and then you can use Movie Maker as well, but it's I don't like it. So then for a headset, I do recommend this mic, the Razer Kraken. Uh, it's usually like around eighty bucks. It's a really good mic uh, or headset. It, it has a mic built in with it, but it's like a really nice mic. Uh, you can get it in a lot of different colors, like bl black, white, green, stuff like that. Um, as well as you're gonna need Photoshop for your thumbnails and channel art. Now, I do recommend Photoshop um, over, like, GIMP or something. GIMP is a free version of Photoshop, but Photoshop has better features and more is more in-depth to, compared to, like, say, um, GIMP, where the, you don't have all the features that Photoshop does. So, that that's one thing I do recommend. Um, now, for if you're gonna if you're gonna be an Xbox recorder, you will definitely need this an Elgato gaming ca game capture card. Uh, either you can go with the HD60 or just the HD. I use the HD. Um, I got it for my birthday. Obviously, I don't know which one does better because I've never used the 60. But whatever you guys want to do there, go ahead. Uh, these things usually are around like 180 bucks usually. Uh, for your webcam. You can, the ones that I recommend are Logitechs. Logitechs have really good quality webcams, like this one, the C615. Or, if you want to pay a little bit extra and get a better one, go with a C920. They're very good. And then, finally, for your gameplay, you're going to want Fraps. Now, Fraps is, I think, it's like 35 bucks, 40 bucks, something like that. It, it's probably one of the high-end quality game capture cards. It, the, or, or you can get Bandicam, which is actually more expensive for more lag. So I recommend Fraps. Uh, it's kind of hard to work with Fraps, but in the end, it works. So those are like uh, those are the th equipment you're gonna need, and you might need more as you go. Like say pop filters and um, shock mounts and more monitors, just st stuff like that. I mean, you're gonna need it. Like USB adapters. YouTube is like one thing that I've learned is YouTube is not a cheap what a uh, cheap deal. Like. You literally have to um, pay the extra money in order to go. So, for example, if you go onto my my YouTube channel, uh, I I've created all this via Photoshop. Um, that's how powerful it is. Um, and then another big thing that you guys might want to try um, 
is you guys might want to try going to your na navigation settings and trying to get it like what I have. Um, then you might want to start teaming up with other YouTubers like I have. Um, it, it's a really good deal, so I do recommend it. And so now let's get into like what what you need to do in order for your channel to grow. So my name, for example, the name. Now my name is not short, but you want it to be short. But I didn't think about that when I made it. But to be honest, Boom Test Gamer Two, it, it, I wanted to continue on from my first channel. That's why there's a two at the end. So the the goal, the deal is when you wanna when you're making a YouTube channel, you don't want to add like random numbers unless it's like your second channel or something. But this is like my main channel now, so I might change my old channel to two and this one to one. I don't know. And then, so, like, say, like, um, Xbox Addictions, that's a good one. Or PewDiePie. Like, they're very short. Um, they have a lot of subscribers. And second of all, you don't know, if you copy other people's YouTube names, such as Vanoss or PewDiePie or Markiplier, um, we don't need any more of those people in the world. Uh, because you're just going to try to be them, and then you're not going to get as many subscribers because you're going to find the wrong guy. Cause if you're if you're copying their name and then they're looking for the right YouTuber, then they're, they're gonna find him over you because they probably have more subscribers than you. So to be honest, come up with your own name. So like, like Boomtest Gamer is mine. It's always has been. There's one that's called Boomtest Gaming, which was copied, but who copied me? But anyway, so another thing for your for your viewers, you need some social media type deals like Instagram, t Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and Ask.fm, even Google for for say. So, and then for when you're making the thumbnails, try to find like a background that fits you. Like this one, this one looks really cool. Um, let me show you one that I did, like this one, the crack in the world one. That's that's like. Hard to do, it takes a while, but in the end, you'll be impressed with what you've done. So, now, when you guys are um, saying that I don't have enough, a lot of subscribers to tell you guys this, well, I've been doing YouTube for as long as I can remember, and this is just my, and I had just started this channel maybe about three months ago, so, I mean, I'm not in a bad spot, a bad area type deal, but... Like, I'm not the most popularist. I'm trying to hit 100 subs. That's my goal right now. So, if you guys would help me hit the 100 subs, we are currently at 86. I would appreciate it. If you're new, please subscribe. Um, but, now, another big thing that I that are do's and don'ts. So, first of all, let's go with the don'ts. Okay, so, you know how, if, you, if you're a YouTuber, people will ask you to subscribe to their channel. So, don't do it. First of all, because they'll gr they'll grow. Uh, and you'll and you won't so that's what they're trying to that's what they're trying to get you to do so um, Don't don't do that um, Second of all do not like like your own videos that, that you don't you're not supposed to do that I mean I do it sometimes just because I can because I actually liked how I did the video, but besides that I really don't like them um, And then don't copy other people's thumbnails or like um um, like intros, outros, stuff like that, or like their words that they say, and like if you've seen them play a game. Um, if you're a YouTuber, like watch other, watch the bigger YouTubers to see what they do. That's what I did. So like Vanos, he's a good one to watch. But if you're if you're gonna be an Xbox gamer, perhaps. So, um, that's gonna put an end to today's episode. So, this is um part one of three. Or two, perhaps, um, of my series. So I, I'm Boom Test Gamer Two. Um, follow me on the on my social media. Those will all be down in the description below. Also, the links for the for the video for the eh, for the equipment will be down below. So if you guys are interested in buying that stuff, or if you guys want to go somewhere else, get like cheaper um, desktop mics or whatever, you can then go ahead and do so. Um, yeah. Besides that, I am Boom Test Gamer Two, and I will catch you all next time. in the sky gazing far into the night I raise my hand